advantage, his planet is uh, is reduced. Oh, and the timing again for Stewie, that's really unfortunate. They know he's in the sight and he can't hit that shot. Shroud of 20 HP. Will we see it? He gets one headshot, he gets a second one out of the sky, and he gets all three! Shroud is just shutting down the dreams of Winterfox. I don't passive angle here just to get shots to uncontested. That's going to be the run boost there as well. Carrigan shows himself. Smith is forced away. RPK is going to stay in Goose and keep himself pretty much concealed for the most part. Oh, oh the 5-7 comes down. It gets himself three kills. Cambi now has to challenge him out. The bomb's loose. It's going to be another one for RPK. He shut down Astralis. They make money early and they get it taken out of their pockets. That's the classic tank play there. RPK of old coming out and grabbing a... Smoke's going to disallow it, so they have to wait for that to dissipate. No action from RPK. He's waiting for Smith to try and get into the open, but he's left to that rifle. The AWP down inside of the site. It may not matter for the retake, but what does is the fact that they have no kits. They've got to go quick on this. They did spot the boost. They'll know both are toward quad. RPK's going to try and wrap on that. He's low HP, but Mixwell with an incredible shot. Yeah, there are going to be two defenders here from the CT side. We have both Napoli and Rush, maybe a bit uh, situated outside of the Ivy. And now we see the push. SK, they're going to be rushing straight up. Napoli, hey, we hit that first shot, but his teammate has to join him in. He won't be able to do so, but Napoli is going to spray them down. That's how you kick things off here. All headshots, and then he's going to be just falling left over towards a main, completely detached from the rest of the team. Only able to find two headshots himself, but Stan is all just executing from the CT spot. Maybe Nitro. Oh yes. What a, what an important round that was. Oh my gosh. Rush! What? The Rush core. 4 kills the PG-50! What the actual hell was that? Those are all headshots. Back! But Dame Tass would be more inclined to go A or B and then have different opening round setups. Ooh, magic. The timing. Did exist surely heard this? Oh my god, that was almost a kill for magic. That would have been massive. He did a lot of damage though. You know, if he had another player, that player could probably get the trade. <gasps> oh my god, get right! That timing on the aggression. So they've not spotted him out at all. Happy. Well, he just made a complete mess of things. That's embarrassing. BP has dwindled their way onto the site one by one. Apex only going to find actually one frag alone. The Envious side makes it two. They are very low on the BP side, but I still have to feel like this is a very tough task. Oh but he lands God. the first, going for the second. Now trying to oh my. lands as well, going for the first. Spam oh my! <laughs> and he lands a shot. That's down Neo. What was that? Where did that come from? Position two, and he's going to hear Guardian stopping in. He even looks at it. But Fallen grabs the frag from inside, picks up the kill. He's gonna get a free op off of that more than likely too. There's a good shot from Simple though to shut up Fallen. Down to a 2v3 and another one from Simple. He's even got another player sitting back over here in the T ramp. The nade is gonna push him back, but on the repeat, Simple is just getting these kills oh, back to back, simple. and then he even gets the fourth one as well. Pushing towards short from the CTs, Dennis and Benton, presumably boosting the AWP towards Lara. Exactly that. They've gotta try and compensate for giving Liquid so much room and time to work oh, with, but Elise! That accuracy is so good! That high sensitivity, and he makes it look so easy as he flashes over his own flash! And Elise is an absolute animal right now, as Fenton will fall trying to pull back into the catwalk position. He stepped up in Cologne, and he's doing it now as Lycro's gonna fall! Four down, all at the hands of Young John, and Elise is absolutely on a rampage twist. Try as you might, but you're not pulling this back. Get in toward Long Cave, save the gun.
like nothing has he's in the pit right now and Shroud's and CT spawn. This. Yeah, this is uh, all five members are not here for Winterbox. They have nowhere to fall back to. It's Skidoo. He gets one kill and he gets actually damaged through. So Zuzi's very low. That's a second kill. This is some old school Skidoo jumping up. More information. A fourth kill. And he can get the but, ace. Oh, the quick scope wow. on Dexter. That is incredible. Yeah, it is. Chris is going nice spawn. Have a little bit of a peek here. And he might fancy this one. Dead box is going to be on the other side of it. But he's straight out. This is something we didn't see back in Hellraiser for a long time. And just catching dead box in the heels. Follows up well. He's Get off, Guys, get just, just, just get a gun out. Someone fights him. Someone do something. <laughs> Stop it, Chris. How is he allowed to do this? I'm just going to bunny hop towards Alta. He goes out, tries to spot them. It's Bialy that'll take him down. So Hong planted, AWP picked up, but Navi's still the one getting the kills. Taz, caught by Guardian. You shall not sneak by and you shall not succeed in holding off the rotations. It's Snax that has to do so. One versus two. And Guardian's still on that AWP. Max with the same weaponry, but a close position from Edward is going to force him funnel him out, but he finds the shot! A lovely shot, and that a Guardian! Oh. And oh my god, Snacks, have you ever just stolen it from Na'Vi? Monster. This is, uh, is going to be a tough execution onto the bomb site. Naf at the pillar, he's got that off, and there's the opening kill. What more can they get? Stanislav falls, Dexter with two kills. Naf's got to do more, and he does. The Tech Knight is out, he's wrapping around the pillar. He's going to get another one. Four kills, he goes for the aces. It's a solo oh. hold from Naflai. An incredible performance around that pillar, and a Winter Fox can get absolutely nowhere. When you have a double op setup, and they don't have the utility or resources to really clear all of these angles, you can make it 4v5 time after time again. Vision towards Xbox gets that kill on depth, and my complexity has terrible positioning, bad guns, they can't push back. Kusta on palm tree. Kusta makes it 3v5 all in a row. Is he gonna challenge the next one here as the flashbang misses and great another shot. great flick from Kusta? Also the cusp of an ace here now too. He's actually gonna get the final two. Here for mid, it's another downward flick on the Uber and the wow. final one. Kusta just dominates complexity on the force by. Spot out, grenade coming out, but oh, there we go. This tag's come down. If the next gonna be able to hit a few shots with no kill coming out, Caravan drops him and Fallen, returns back on, takes a second as well, and the third. That's gonna be the quick scope there. Oh, the fall, Fallen, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do this, and the vice is gonna be stuck over towards long with 20 seconds left on the clock. That is gonna be SK just ripping apart Astralis, and there's nothing you can say about that for the days.